Hello there, Internet world. My name is Renee Jones, and this is Two Minutes with TLS. Today's title is When You Pay Peanuts, You Get Monkeys. It's widely known that the people that work within your warehouse are the lowest paid personnel within your organization, but yet we wonder why we have picking errors, receiving errors, why we can't deliver the material correctly, why the inventory is never accurate. I wonder why. It's not rocket science, but you must pay your people according to the value that you place on them. Let me rephrase that. Don't pay your people according to the value that you place on them because you place little value on the people that work within your warehouse. We know that, which is why they're the lowest paid people within your organization because you think anyone off the street can perform or do what it is they do. But in reality, I'm not saying that your warehouse personnel need to all make $100,000 a year or more. I'm saying you need to place a higher value on what it is they do so that you can pay them according to the value that they're bringing to the table. Most warehouse individuals will leave for 50 cents more an hour, and they're typically leaving not a bad company, but bad managers. We take these managers straight from being the best picker to now running the warehouse and wonder why we have such high turnover. I last thing I read said the average turnover in a warehouse was about 50%. Maybe with what's gone on in 2020 that didn't happen, but the turnover within most warehouses are astro is astronomical. So if you want monkeys, continue to pay peanuts. If you don't, then increase what you're paying your warehouse personnel. My name's Renee Jones. That was Two Minutes with TLS. Visit us on the web at LogisticSociety.com, LogisticSociety.com 1S, and I'll see you the next time.